Hello, my name is Amy and tonight we are finally heading off to the Pacific. I know some of you have been waiting a while for this one. I'm looking forward to it but I'm a little bit nervous because I've been told it might even be more harsh to watch than Band of Brothers. Pretty sure we're heading off to Japan. So I am wondering if we're going to see something about Pearl Harbor and maybe the dropping of the bombs afterwards. I know that America was a huge, huge help during World War II. They came and backed us up and helped us save the day. But when I think back to school, what we learned about was, and I think we started young. I grew up in the UK. And already in primary school, we were learning about the rationing, the Anderson shelters. I think we even went to, they put us in an Anderson shelter and showed us what it would be like with the sounds if things were crashing down. Um, our headmaster would read us a good night, Mr. Tom. He would read us a chapter every night before we would go home. I used to love, he was the greatest teacher. And then I moved to France and they drilled, they drilled the, the war into our head, especially the concentration camps and the resistance. We visited museums. I think they got us to watch Schindler's List, which I should probably watch again because that's been over 15 years now, easy. So I'm hoping at the end of this one, I'll have a bit more education on how America dealt with things close to home. So this is The Pacific from 2010, which was filmed nine years after Band of Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. The Pacific, part one. December 1941, United States of America. I'm sorry. Vera. Bob Leckie. Is this one gonna have a love story in it? I thought I was going shopping, but then I passed St. Mary's and... I love war love stories. I just hope that if it is, it ends well. I joined the Marines. Well, if I don't see you before you go, take care of yourself. Uh, uh wait, Vera, let me get that for you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. He's a gentleman. Maybe I'll write you. And he's gonna write to her. <laughs> Hello. We're here. Everything back then was just a lot more classy. The uniforms, the red lipstick, the way people treated each other. <laughs> so Germany's already invaded most of Europe. The uniform that you wear will make the difference between the freedom of the world and its enslavement. December 7th was quite a day for Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. On the same day, places called Guam, Wake, the Malay Peninsula, Hong Kong, the Philippine Islands were also attacked. See, all I've heard was about Pearl Harbor. I didn't know they were attacking other little places. When we have swept upon the main islands of Japan and destroyed every scrap of that empire. It's already making me nervous that half these guys probably aren't going to make it. Those of you who are lucky enough to get home for Christmas, hold your loved ones dearly. Make the most out of it. And then report back here. Merry Christmas. 
Happy 1942. Staying real. I got him out. I love Christmas. Hey, everybody! This is JP and Manny. Be so surreal to know that you're going off to war and this could be the last Christmas you spend with your family. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, listen up, please. When all this is over, let's say a, a year from tonight, we'll sit down at this table again for a welcome home feast. Yes, yeah, still in the back of all their minds. My dad probably went through World War One. It's right, Dad. Yeah, a branch or something stuck under the wheel is pulling to one side. You hardly packed a thing. Wish I could have brought my typewriter. That's so why you need that. Yeah. There's a war on. Your mother said I was a fool not to buy a Ford. He doesn't... He's trying to avoid the whole situation. That's it, Dad. I gotta go. So his men back in the day weren't talking about feelings wasn't a thing was it you better hug him and not shake hands mm. Bye, sir. Dad's just feeling very scared right now. Where have I seen this kid before? Son. He's not allowed to partake. Eugene, I'm, I'm sorry. I've heard they almost felt shame because of it, which I think is terrible. Mama's still there. She relieved. The boy's disappointed, Mary Frank. I'm his mother. I had much much rather have my boy with me. <laughs> it's nothing he should be ashamed of. He can't control it. It wasn't his decision. couldn't do it. Being on a ship in the middle of war. You have nowhere to run to. You're just like waiting. They all seem so calm. Make sure you save one of those for me. Well, you guys are lucky I'm here because I'm planning to take out an entire regiment all by myself. <laughs> You know, they all start off all hyped up, don't they? Can someone remind me why we're here again? Well, we're here to keep the out of Australia. Let's go, boys! Everybody on deck! Let's move! Right here, here, up the ladder! Top right now. Forget all the horse shit you've heard about the Jets! They had their turn! Now it's our turn! That sounds like something's gonna land on them at any second. We'll yank the surviving Jets out of their shit-filled holes by their yellow balls! Heads down in the boats! Hit the beach! Keep moving to your rendezvous points of primary objectives! 
Is it going to be like a Normandy situation where they're just running to the beach and getting shot down? Jesus. Imagine what that would feel like. <laughs> Just sitting there waiting is brave in itself. It is, it's gonna be a fucking Normandy situation. Gonna drop the rails down and run. Oh my god. Are they good? They seem a bit confused. Don't do that to me, fuck's sake. <laughs> All just chilling on the beach. Hey, now what do I do? Try using your head, Shuffler. It's big and rock like. Don't do that, you probably knock yourself out. Hey, for what it's worth, Corporal Dobson says uh, this might have poisoned the coconut. Oh, how would they do that? Excuse me. Intelligence has it that you move back into the jungle. Clean the sand out of your weapons. We move in three minutes. Oh, the insects. Oh, that would be really effing annoying. Can't be far off then. That jungle looks dense. Pretty sure sometimes I can hear a mosquito. Just the sound is driving me crazy. Is that water? They've been walking for a while now and it's been quiet. Yeah, it's been going good for way too long. I suppose the sound of the forest can play with them or against them. around his neck. So I'm wondering if they've been tortured or they're 
being put on display as a warning. Everyone's on edge. Oh, fuck. He went to take a piss. Somebody opened up. Start walking. We're moving to the top of the ridge. We're moving. Imagine going off to war and the first person to get killed is by your own freaking side. Whoever shot him must be feeling so guilty. Jesus. Can you imagine being on one of those ships? Do you think you'd want him? Guys, 30 cal ammo. Thank you, thank you. Hope it was a fucking shit, was it's gotta be. You'd hope. Doubt we could tell from there. Oh. <laughs> How can they be sure? Son of a bitch. Where's the Navy? Yeah, they weren't sure. We lost four cruisers. Jesus, I wonder how many, many men that makes. Bon voyage. Yeah, well, she went down with half the battalion's ammo, most of our grub and medical supplies, and a our ass wife. So they have nothing. Phillips. Want some? It's wine left behind. The Navy is right over the horizon, Phillips. <laughs> Not now, then when? That is a good point. It's not gonna like it. There you go. <laughs> Smoking lamps out! Pass it down! Smoking lamps Smoke out! Smoking lamps out! What is that? Don't go firing anything. Hold your fire. They're just trying to spot our positions. Hold your fire. They're just trying to spot our positions. Hold your fire. How long are they gonna wait? Oh, they just went past. Okay. Jesus Christ. There are thousands of them. Don't get too comfortable in your holes. Alligator Creek. Set in along here. Watch the opposite bank. It's on that second floor. It's good. A company made contact. Three miles east. Destroy any letters you have with any date. Jeez, they have to destroy the letters. We got movement. I can't stop movement. What is that? Be hesitant too to shoot after what just happened. <laughs> now it started. That looks insane. <laughs> you wouldn't even know where you're aiming, it's just flashing lights. Jesus. 
to line up the sky so they know what to shoot. Move into the forward position. They need to get down. Give me okay. Is he okay? He's lost it. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. No one would know how to handle this. And I think some people think they could get through it and they'd be in this state. We've got them running. Which I'm surprised about when you see the amount of ships that were nearby. Look at them all. I mean, we, 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 we chewed them up. I'm surprised there were so many. We could see in the dark was flashes. They just kept on coming. Lucky. You'd have to make yourself become numb. Barman, we got a live one here. Fuck. Oh my god. I've heard that the Japanese fight till the to the end. Sad enough. Where's your Tojo now? <laughs> Come on, you're better than this. Run, fucker! Because <laughs> he has a heart. Stanley's blinded. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you'd put cigarettes up his nose at first. It's for the smell. Dear Vera, it seems a lifetime since we met outside St. Mary's. The jungle holds both beauty and terror in its depths, the most terrible of which is man. There are things men can do to one another that are sobering to the soul. It is one thing to reconcile these things with God, but another to square it with yourself. Yeah. Best wishes, Fadi. P.S. Your mother would like to know if you want us to send you your dress blue uniform. <laughs> hey, Johnny Reb, it's your turn. They're all probably trying to get the local news. Oh, well, this, one, this one here is from a buddy of mine back in Mobile. <clears throat> Dear Sid, you wouldn't recognize home now. Thousands of workers are pouring into the shipyards. The truth is, you're the lucky one, Sid. You'll never have that nagging thought that you let your family your friends, and your country down. <sighs> so sad that he can't see it. But then he wouldn't really... It's best that he stays put at home, safe. 
Your friend wants to be a Marine. Yeah, but his father won't let him. He's got a heart murmur. Hey, when's your birthday, Sid? It's a couple of weeks ago. How old are you? 18. Ugh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phyllis. <laughs> I hope not, but probably. That was the end of part one. In Band of Brothers, you had like a steady build, and this one, you're they're already fighting, they're already going at it. And I've also noticed a difference in the hatred. In Band of Brothers, you see them all excited going to the war and over time they're being broken down and their hatred towards the enemy is building. And in this one, you can tell they don't they don't even see them as human beings. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be a hard watch. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching with me. I hope to see you again next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.